development of the face cheeks stomodium is bounded by maxillary frontal nasal and mandibular processes so the maxillary and mandibular processes undergo fusion from the lateral side and form smaller stomodium or normal oral fissure whereas fused part forms cheek okay once again cheeks on the face the stomodium is bounded by maxillary frontonasal and mandibular processes the maxillary and mandibular processes undergo fusion from the lateral side and form smaller stomodium or normal oral fissure whereas fused parts form cheek now the lower lip bilateral mandibular processes fuse in the midline to form a lower lip and lower jaw upper lip central part philtrum of the upper lip is derived from medial nasal process lateral parts of the upper lip are derived from bilateral maxillary processes lateral nasal processes does not form upper lip the ectoderm skin of the maxillary processes over groves overgrow and cover the central part of the philtrum of the upper lip hence the skin of the upper lip is supplied by maxillary nerve muscles of face are derived from secondary arch hence supplied by facial nerve okay development of nose is related with bridge of the nose from fronto nasal process and the dorsum and tip of the nose from fused medial nasal processes this is external nose ala of the nose from lateral nasal processes anterior nares nostril from the nasal pit nasal cavity from the nasal sacs and posterior nares that are coeni from rupture of the bucco nasal membrane and palate palate is derived from two components primary and secondary palate fronto nasal process primary palate maxillary process secondary palate okay fronto nasal process primary palate maxillary process secondary palate 